was easy. What's poppin' booty eating gang? How y'all doing, man? Hope you guys are having a great day as usual. Look, I'm back with another video. This is a banger. I promise you this is a banger, so stay around. Watch this video. It's gonna help you guys tremendously. So stay around. Don't, un I mean, I don't know why you unclicked the video already. I mean, it's just, I know I have a cringy ass intro, but don't leave. Don't leave. I was supposed to get the $10 to $1,000 challenge out today, but unfortunately, last week was really bad for me. I ended up, you know, I'm not bad in a bad way, but I was just really busy. I had no time to trade a $10 account whatsoever. I ended up getting married, finding out I'm having another baby. I don't really think I need to say more, like that's enough in one week. This week, at the very end, I promise you, the $10 to 1K challenge, episode one, will be out. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned because you guys are not gonna wanna miss that video. It's gonna help you guys grow your baby accounts tremendously. Most people like to trade bigger accounts on here and do all this crap. I wanna show you guys how to trade small accounts because I know a lot of you guys have small accounts. So that's what I try to focus on. I wanna help you guys out. I'm not here to help me out. I'm not on YouTube to help me out. I'm here to help you guys out. And I'm doing it all for free. Least you can do, Follow my Instagram. I'm gonna have a giveaway on my Instagram very soon. I think I'm gonna give away some merch and then obviously obviously some money. So follow my Instagram at Trading if you want to get in on those giveaways when they drop this week. With that being said, if you guys wanna use my trusted broker, the link will be down below. A link to my website will be down below so you can join my free telegram where I send out free signals throughout the week and um, pretty much just help you guys out in that way as well. With all that being said, I love you guys, Snake Gang. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pretty much just want to show you guys big major tips on how to scalp and, you know, kind of review my scalping strategy and how I use it. Let's get straight into this video, guys. Press that like button. Tell your mom, tell your friends, and um, enjoy. Right here on the charts, guys, I pretty much want to show you guys everything that I know when it comes to scalping and kind of how I use my strategy. So, first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in replay mode so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like live because I know a lot of people don't do stuff like this, but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks live. That way you guys can get a better understanding. So, let's say the market is in this position and we kind of have this little zone marked up, right? We see this little support here, right? Look at the support turn into resistance, back into more resistance, and now look at it as a support. Okay, so we have multiple confirmations that this is a beautiful support slash resistance line, also known as a ceiling slash floor, okay? Right here we have a floor, right here it's a roof. Right here we have a roof, ceiling, right here is the floor. So now we're gonna simply wait to see how these candles close, and yes, we're on the H4 to start the scalping strategy. So what do we do? We wait, okay? Boom. As you can see, we have another rejection as a support, but what are we gonna do now? At this point, we're not gonna sit here and get in. We're not gonna get in for a buy here with our stops below the support. No, that's 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 not how I like to trade because that's not enough confirmations for me. I wanna see price start to move up before I get in and then wait for a pullback. So, here we go. Boom, rejection, boom. Now at this point, we're gonna start to look for our buy positions because we see we just respected the support line. We're looking for buys here, guys. So what are we gonna do? Now is where the scalping comes in, okay? We have our confirmation that we're looking for buys. This is a bullish market, okay? Because not only do we have, you know, the support being respected, but our moving averages, okay? And let me give you guys a little secret, okay? 50 moving average, I have red. My eight moving average is blue, okay? These are SMAs. How do you do that? You go to your indicators on here, you type in SMA, smooth moving average. You click that, change one of them to 50, one of them to eight, okay? So you're gonna have two of them. The 50 is gonna be red, okay? Anytime the red is on the bottom, you're looking for buys. Anytime the red crosses over the top, you're looking for sells, okay? Little tip for you guys. So, moving averages crossed over. I'm looking for buys now because this moving average is showing me we're looking for buys, okay? The 50 red moving average crossed over. Red moving average crossing over to the bottom means buys, okay? Not only that, obviously we have our support as I've been pretty much just saying this whole damn time, okay? So now what? Now the scalps come in. Let's go to the 15 minute chart and let's wait for an aggressive setup to occur, okay? So, <clears throat> what are we gonna do here, okay? Oh shoot, that's a beautiful setup. I, I did not mean to click it that many times. Okay, let's go back to this point. 
As you can see, we have that bullish candle. This is it right here. This is pretty much that bullish candle we just saw, the H4, but this is what it looks like on the 15th, okay? Very choppy setup, but trust me, guys, you can, you can still get some pretty nice setups off this type of stuff. So, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna wait for a Fibonacci setup to occur. Now that I see this huge rejection to the downside right here, I know for sure we're looking for buys. As you can see, our moving average is crossing over on the 15 now. So it wasn't just crossing over on the four hour, now it's crossed over on both time frames. So now we can really look for buys. Like this is an amazing setup, okay? So what do we do here? I'm not gonna draw my Fibonacci from this wick because this candlestick to me is not really, not, it's not really set as that push, okay? I'm looking for that push, okay? I'm looking for that aggressive push to the upside. This to me is not an aggressive push to the upside, this is more of an aggressive, you know, kind of downside rejection. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my Fibonacci from this wick right here to the top of the, of pretty much where it went, as you can see, boom, okay? As you can see, price has been rejecting our gold zone multiple times now, okay? So if we keep waiting for a good pullback such as this, where it kind of came back down, we easily could have gotten for a buy at this position. Boom, right there have our stops just below our moving average because if price pretty much respects this as a support, so if price breaks below our moving average, we're out anyways, okay? And like I said, this is a very choppy setup, so I'll show you guys another setup soon, or in a minute, but kinda just wanna show you guys this too so you can see that you can get choppy setups such as this, and I did take this, okay? So look, right here you can see we have a nice little resistance line. If we draw from these wicks through, you can see that price has respected that ceiling now as a floor. So that's two confirmations, if not like six by now, because we already know the H4 is showing bullish. The MAs are crossing over on the H4. The MAs have crossed over on the 15. We got our Fibonacci zone on this choppy setup, and now we see a support on our former resistance. This is a great buy. Okay, this is where you risk your whole account, your entire account. Every dollar you have put into your account, you risk. Okay? Don't do that. If you really believe me and try to do stuff like that, that's why you keep failing, by the way. So boom. We're gonna target our stop, or our take profit's gonna be targeted right here at this support line. Or, I'm sorry, resistance line, sorry, I just, I say these two words so much, but this is our resistance line, okay? Stops are gonna be just below that moving average. Take profit is going to be right here at that resistance line, because if price hits that, it could reject. So that's where we're gonna take our profit, okay? So let's see what would've happened if we played this setup pretty much. Boom, more rejections, more rejections, more rejections, does not wanna break below. Does not want to break below that support line, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Get ready, get ready. Y'all ready for this? Boop, take profit smashed. Take profit smashed, and just like I said, guys, look at this. It kind of did respect that. Um, it, it did respect that, so it's a good thing we got out when we did, and that's a great take profit to get set at. Perfect trade for you guys, pretty much. I know it was choppy, but everything that I just talked about is there, okay? If you guys are still having questions, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one more setup. So let's go ahead and reset this chart. We're gonna go to the four hour and I'm gonna show you a brand new setup, okay? Check this out, guys. We'll go ahead and put this bitch in rewind mode one more time for you guys. We'll rewind it to here, okay? So what do we see here, right? What do we see? I mean, it's not like a good setup yet. Currently, you don't see much of a setup, but check this out. Boom, look at this support line. Beautiful, beautiful support line. Now, if price can come back and reject this as a resistance, we'll start looking for sells. Look at the moving average crossover, as I told you guys. Moving average crossover, and I really can't believe I'm showing you guys all this for free, but I am. Moving average crossover. Now, let's see what happens. Boom, there's your rejection. There's your rejection. So now, guess what? We know price is probably gonna fall, and look, it did fall pretty hard. So what are we gonna do, okay? We're gonna go here, okay? As you can see, my tip to you guys pretty much is, do not just trade the 15 minute chart. Use the four hour or the one hour as a confluence to what you wanna see on the smaller time frames. Wait till you see a setup on the H4 and then go on the 15 and wait for that little scalp setup to occur. Do you get what I'm saying guys? Instead of just going on there on the 15 and just waiting for a setup, no, no, no. Go on the H4 and use the H4 to your advantage because now you can see price is most likely gonna fall on the H4 that means price is really gonna fall on the M15 if you can find a perfect setup. Okay, we're just using the Fibonacci. We're just using our Fibonacci gold zone. I don't know if I really explained that well in this video, but you guys go back and see other videos where I explain it. Pretty much the Fibonacci is just a 0.5 or a 618 zone. That's the only zones I wanna see get rejected. 
Okay, I spoke about, I spoke about this in a lot of other videos, so that's why I didn't really explain it too much, but I'll, I'll kind of explain it better here. Okay, so let's go to the 15 minute chart. On the four hour, we already see prices falling. Okay, so I'm gonna rewind this because I waited for that huge wick to happen. You would not wait that long. Let's go back. I'm gonna show that to you guys again. Okay, so we're gonna wait for a down push to occur so we can draw our Fibonacci and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Boom, okay? So from right here, we see a push start to occur, okay? At this point, we will take our Fibonacci and we'll draw it from each wick that it goes to. So right here, boom, and now we wait, okay? Very simple. We wait for it to come back and reject our gold zone, which is the 0.5 zone or the 0 0.61 or 0 0.618 zone. Everybody has a Fibonacci tool. It's all on TradingView. Go to TradingView.com, create an account, it's free. You will have your Fibonacci tool right in this area, okay? So take your Fibonacci. I'm drawing it from this push, and now I'm waiting for this. Look at this. Boom! What do we have? Huge rejection of both of our freaking moving averages, and a huge rejection to our gold zone. 618 slash 0.5 zone has been rejected. What does that mean for us? That means it's time to sell, baby. We already know that if we go to the H4, we already know. We already know we're falling. We know that. Things are falling. Okay? So we go to the 15. Look at this beautiful, beautiful entry. Beautiful entry. Take our short position. Get in about there. What would we target here? We could have targeted this support. We could have targeted down here in this zone. Uh, but we could just target like this area right here just to keep it safe. Stops would be just above the moving averages such as the, um, or such as, not, not such as. Both of the moving averages and our gold zone, okay? So now we have a one to three ratio pretty much and we're gonna see exactly how this would have played out. Holy shit! Talk about a perfect entry, oh my god. <laughs> I told you we could have targeted down here as well, man. I told you we could have took half profit and let the rest run through here if we really, really wanted to. But um, that's a beautiful setup, very beautiful setup. I hope it's making sense for you guys. If it's really not making sense and you still have questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to do a part two of this video and help you guys out. If you're still not understanding something, like maybe the Fibonacci, you need more, more touches on the Fibonacci, the moving averages, whatever you need more touches on, comment down below and I'll get that video out for you guys. I haven't been posting as much as I usually do, but I'm back. I actually have a whole setup coming. I have a green screen coming, all kinds of cool stuff, man. Videos are gonna be lit. The $10 to 1K challenge is coming out this week, so y'all stay tuned for that, man. Follow my Instagram, MombaFX Trading, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now you know when you scalp, look at the H4 and the H1 before you get your entries on the 15. Don't just sit on the 15 and wait for an entry. Go on the four hour and make sure price is using, or price is, you know, doing what you wanted to do. You want to see those trends or the support and resistances being breaking and retested? Okay, that's great. But then you go on the 15 and get your Fibonacci entry. <sighs> Things are going to change for you. Majorly. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Booty eating gang, let's go. Let's get it. Booty eating course coming out soon. You know what it is. You know what to do. I'll see you guys later. Love y'all.